So glad to be with you today. This is Unlimited Online from the Nations Church in Suwon, South Korea. I'm going to jump right into our lesson today. Has anyone ever been to or watched on TV a fireworks show? In America, there's a big celebration in almost every town across the whole country on July 4th because it's Independence Day. In South Korea, maybe you've been to the Seoul International Fireworks Festival. It's usually held around this time of year, and over a million people watch it. Wow. And do you know how much money is spent on that fireworks show? So there's like three to four teams from different countries, and each team spends around 200 million won. That's a lot of money. But most people think the cost for these shows is worth the benefit of so many people who come to watch and enjoy. People value entertainment. But what if the fireworks committee were asked to put this spectacular show on for just one person? It would have to be a very special, very valuable person, right? Like a president, king, or prime minister of a whole country then maybe such a celebration and spending of money would be worth it. Well, today we're going to learn about valuing God first and above everything else, more than money, entertainment, praise, and recognition of other people, and even more than our own success or our own life. Let's read in John 12 today. And here's some background information. Do you remember how Jesus raised several people from the dead? A little girl, a woman, and do you know the story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead? It's actually in John 11, the chapter before. Lazarus was Jesus' friend who died and laid dead for four days in the grave. Jesus was friends with Lazarus and his two sisters, Martha and Mary, Many people witnessed this amazing miracle when Jesus came, seemingly too late to heal Lazarus, but he went to his grave and called Lazarus out. Lazarus then walked out. After being dead for four days, he walked out, still wrapped in his burial clothes, and was alive and well. Everyone was amazed and overjoyed. So let's get back to John chapter 12. Jesus came back to Bethany, to the home of his friend Lazarus, who he had previously raised from the dead, and they all ate together. Martha served the meal, and Mary, well, she did something unthinkable. She took a jar of very expensive perfume. It was worth like a year's worth of wages. The value of that one bottle of perfume is like 46.5 million won. She poured it all on Jesus' feet and then wiped his feet with her hair. The disciples were so surprised, and Judas, the one who would later betray Jesus, and he was already taking money from their money bag, said that the amount of money could have been used for something more useful, like to give to the poor. But Jesus knew Judas didn't really care about the poor. He just cared about money and making himself look good. Jesus said that what Mary did was good. She was giving up all she had to honor him. Mary was showing how important and valuable Jesus was. Do you have anything that costs the amount of money that your parents could earn in a whole year? That might actually be all of your possessions plus some. Could you give it up for Jesus? In John 12, it says that the very next day, Jesus traveled a few kilometers down the road to Jerusalem, the Jewish celebration of the Passover, the one that honored God for helping the Israelites exit out of Egypt and out of slavery. This festival was happening in about five days, and people were starting to arrive. But now they were also arriving because they heard Jesus was coming, and some of them also witnessed with their own eyes or had heard that Lazarus, the man Jesus brought back from the dead, would be there as well. We often call this Palm Sunday. So a large crowd of Passover visitors took palm branches and went down to the road to meet him. They shouted, Hosanna! Praise God! 
Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hail to the King of Israel. It was an amazing parade and celebration as Jesus entered the city on a little donkey, the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Many people believed that day. They heard about the miracles Jesus had done and talked to Lazarus and believed. But among the crowd, there were also Pharisees. Remember, these were the Israelite Jewish leaders who were afraid of losing their positions and their power, and they thought Jesus was a liar and that they knew more about God than he did. They had already decided to kill Jesus, but now... After seeing the people's response and the celebration, they were scared. And so, not only did they want to kill Jesus, they wanted to kill Lazarus as well. The Pharisees wanted to be the leaders of the Israelite people, and they also wanted to look good in front of the Romans who actually ruled over the land. The Pharisees valued man's earthly praise over God's love and God's praise. They could not give up their power or their hearts to the Messiah. What is your response to the Savior of the world? Do you jump for joy, sing, dance, praise his name? Do you celebrate him in your heart? Or do you want to look good in front of people? Do you want success, money, nice things more than you want his eternal life? The last part of this amazing chapter in John that I want to mention is in verse 23. It says that Jesus replied, Now the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory. It was Jesus' time to be put on display, to be shown for who he truly was, the Son of Man, the Son of God, David's descendant, King of Israel, a miracle worker, God. And it was almost time, in a few days, for Jesus to die, a public death, lifted up on a cross for all to see. And one more thing, in verse 28, after Jesus said, Father, bring glory to your name, a voice spoke from heaven saying, I have already brought glory to my name, and I will do so again. When the crowd heard this voice, some thought it was thunder, while others declared an angel had spoken to him. God spoke audibly again. Wow, the time had certainly come, and God would be glorified through Jesus' death, as he would defeat death and rise again to new life, and many who doubted would then believe. When will the time come that you celebrate Jesus for being your Savior and King? There will be a time, maybe more than one opportunity for you to choose Jesus Christ as your Lord and leader. You need to make a choice. When God moves your heart, when your heart is open, soft, and ready to receive his love, take it. Seize the moment to give him your all. His life is the most valuable thing you could ever possess. Choose him. Our memory verse is from the NIV, the New International Version today, because I love the word Hosanna. It means save or praise God. It says, they took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. In John 12, 13. Here are the discussion questions Number one, why did Mary pour very expensive perfume over Jesus' feet? Why did Judas disagree? Why did the people call Jesus king and celebrate as he entered Jerusalem? And when is it a good time to choose Jesus as your savior, leader, and king? One more thing, besides number three, if you want to share as your shekel activity, find a song that you like that celebrates Jesus using the words King or Hosanna. Great to be with you guys today. Have a really blessed week.